Are you a student looking to break into the VFX or games industry? Or maybe you know someone who is and just for once would want to understand what he or she is saying. Then this is the show for you. I'm Jenna Morgan and this is Newbie's Corner. This month, we're doing a general overview of the tools used in computer animation. These tools can be very general and all-purpose or be extremely specific. We can't list every piece of software, there's not enough hours in the day, but we'll cover the biggest software packages in three basic categories, general purpose, sculpting, and rendering. Also, we'll only be talking about 3D software. We'll discuss 2D software, such as Photoshop, another time. So with that said, let's get started. General purpose software are the rock stars of the industry. Whether a video game or movie or even a TV commercial, odds are good it has one of these programs. Three of these programs are owned by the same company, Autodesk. Autodesk bought what would eventually be 3DS Max back in 1988, and it's still in use today in games and architectural previous. Back in 2005, Autodesk bought one of its main competitors, Maya, from its original developers, Alias, and today Maya is the main workhorse in nearly every computer animation company. Autodesk then bought Soft Image in 2008. Once the premier program of its time, Soft Image was part of some of the very first computer animated VFX movies, such as Jurassic Park. Sadly, Autodesk has chosen to discontinue Soft Image, and this year we saw the last new release of Soft Image there may ever be. Another program in this category is Lightwave from Newtek, and is about as old as any of these others mentioned. Lightwave has been used in movies such as Titanic and The Conjuring, as well as TV series like Battlestar Galactica. Some of the makers of Lightwave broke away from Newtek to create their own program, Moto. Originally just a modeling tool, Moto has evolved to a full all-purpose computer animation tool. Recently, the company that made Moto, Luxology, merged with another computer animation company, The Foundry. Lastly, we have Blender. Blender is the only program on this list that is free, created by people in the computer animation industry for the people in the computer animation industry. Blender has been used to create fantastic short films, all created by members of the community volunteering their time. The next category of programs are digital sculpting tools. These programs can create high detailed models in attempts to recreate the experience of sculpting in clay. These programs also allow the artist to paint directly on the models as if in real life. The first program on this list we've seen, remember we said Moto was originally a modeling package and they added the ability to sculpt back in 2007. The second one on our list is Mudbox, originally created by Weta, the people behind the Lord of the Rings movies, and was later bought by Autodesk. Mudbox is easy to learn and is arguably one of the more powerful painting programs available. And then we have ZBrush by Pixelogic, the current leader in this category. ZBrush has arguably the most verbose and powerful sculpting tools, giving ZBrush the ability to create anything from organic creatures to machines to things like hair and grass. Last category of programs we'll talk about are renderers. Last week, we talked about what it means to render. If you missed it, you can click the link. These programs work with general animation programs to create the final images. The most used, at least outside of large budget productions, is probably Mental Ray, as it ships currently with all three of Autodesk products we mentioned, Max, Maya, and Soft Image. V-Ray from Chaos Group has been growing steadily in popularity over the years, as has Maxwell Renderer from the Next Limit Technologies, but the most powerful renderer and most widely used in big budget productions would have to be Renderman from Pixar. Not only has it been used in every Pixar movie, but also in films like Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Transformers franchises. So that's Navy's Corner for this month. Any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment down below. Check out one of our other videos by clicking over here. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we'll have you feeling like an industry insider in no time.